हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज योर हिस्ट्री लेसन टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू रीड चैप्टर फोर द ग्रेट कॉन्फ्लिक्ट वर्ल्ड वार वन नाइनटीन फोर्टीन टू नाइनटीन एटीन फ्रॉम अंडरस्टैंडिंग हिस्ट्री फॉर क्लास एट सो वी स्टार्ट आर लेसन दिस इज पेज नंबर ट्वेंटी नाइन फ्रॉम योर बुक अ चेंज इन यूरोप In the 1800s great changes began to take place in Europe the spirit of nationalism meaning pride in one's nationhood and the need to defend it had taken over the nation states in Europe nationalism also led to the making of two new states reunification of Italy in 1861 and germany in 1871 with each uniting smaller states into one whole at the same time industrialization made the manufacture of arms and ammunition easier and on a bigger scale ammunition means a supply or quantity of bullets and shells each nation felt they had to defend themselves with military capability germany started to build up a strong navy to compete with britain and other states built up their armies to defend themselves european nations also competed for colonies in africa and asia as imperialists which meant that some of the european countries took over new lands or countries and made them subject to their rule by 1900 the british empire expanded over five continents and france had large areas of africa germany competed for colonies too but could only take over small areas in africa with rapid industrialization european nations needed more resources and new markets their colonies provided cheap raw materials for their factories and profitable markets for the finished goods investment in industry and trade it supported helped the economy of these nations moreover the manufacture of arms in european countries increased by 50% in the years 1908 to 1913 the policy of alliances by european powers Furthermore a number of alliances between european nations were signed during 1879 to 1914 which were likely to lead to war in europe this was because any european country whose ally ally was attacked had to declare war on the country as part of the alliance agreement ally means a state formally cooperating with an other for a military or other purpose thus two main opposing groups were formed the uk france and russia came together in a group called the allies and were later joined by usa and japan the other group the central powers comprised austria hungary germany and italy and the ottoman empire and bulgaria joined them later italy backed out of world war 1 and joined the allies world war 1 begins however what sparked off the war was the assassination of archduke for then Ferdinand of Austria-Hungary by a Serb rebel's bullet while touring while touring Sarajevo in Bosnia Here archduke means a man of very high rank Ferdinand and his wife Sofia were fatally wounded fatally in a manner leading to death or disaster this gave austria hungary the change in a uh, change to invade serbia its long term enemy austria hungary had also made a pact with germany to support it in its fight with serbia which drew germany into the war the war spread to other european nations because they had made secret pacts with each other to 
either support one or the other in face of an attack. Pact mean a formal agreement between individuals or parties. And the conflict went beyond Europe to the Middle East, parts of Asia and Africa where many of the powers had their colonies. Events of the war. The war started on 28th July 1914. Each side expected a quick victory but it dragged over four years. For the first time, aerial bombing of cities took place and poisonous gases, tank, submarines and trench warfare were also used to kill civilians and soldiers. As a result, as a result the casualty numbered over 37 million people. Casualty, a person killed or injured in a war or accident. Both military and civilian with more than 16 million dead and 20 million wounded, besides almost 8 million prisoners of war. There was enormous destruction and the ec economies of the countries involved suffered huge losses. The main battles were fought on the Western and Eastern Fronts. On the Western Front, the war deteriorated into trench warfare and each side was unable to penetrate the lines of defense created by digging trenches. Here, deteriorated means to make or become worse or inferior in character. Penetrate means go into or through something, especially with force or effort. For three years, the trench warfare dragged on and allied soldiers became disheartened with their leaders and the horrible conditions under which they fought. By 1917, both France and Britain saw their position as hopeless on the Western Front. On the Eastern Front, a revolution in Russia in 1917 deposed, deposed, deposed remi removed from office suddenly and forcefully. Tsar Nicholas II and a new government was forced to continue the war. Russia finally had to enter a treaty with Germany to give up territories including Finland, Poland, Ukraine, Basarbia and the Baltic states of Estonia. Estonia, Latvia and Lithuania. Lithuania. The war went in Germany's favor on the Eastern Front and it could now move its troops on the Western Front. The war was fought not only on land but at sea as well. The Germany Navy used its ships to attack the merchant vessels of the LAs. Britain's Royal Navy responded by attacking and sinking German ships. The Germans used U-boats, submarines to cut off supplies between North America and Britain. The Ottoman Empire in Turkey in secret alliance with Germany joined the central powers and threatened Russian's Caucasian region. They defeated the British and French at Gallipoli in 1915 but faced defeat by the Allies in Mesopotamia, Iraq in 1915-16. to 16. In 1917, Germany not only used submarines for unlimited warfare against U.S. shipping but also instigated Mexico to declare war on the U.S.A. to win back its territories. Instigated means bring about or initiate an action or event. President Woodrow Wilson, who had advocated peace and tried to keep the U.S. out of the war, then declared that the U.S.A. would join the war also to help Britain and France fight Germany and its allies. Well over 2 million American troops fought along with the allies in Europe. 
by September 1918, the last offensive, offensive causing someone to feel upset and angry. Offensive by the Allies made Germany realize its defeat as it could not match the superior numbers of the Allied troops. Germany's ruler, Kaiser Wilhelm, was made to abdicate. Kaiser Wilhelm abdicate, abdicate to give up formally a high office, throne, and authority. And he crossed the border into the Netherlands where he died at the age of 82. This marked the end of Imperial Germany, which now became the which now became the Weimar Republic. With casualties numbering nearly 6 million, Germany conceded defeat, conceded admit or agree that something is true after first deny. So, Germany conceded defeat and the central powers collapsed. One by one, the empires were reduced in size and power. On 11 November at 5 a.m., an armistice, armistice warning, armistice is a formal agreement of warning parties to stop farm fighting. An armistice was signed in a railroad carriage at Campine in France. At 11 a.m. on 11 November 1918, the 11th hour of the 11th day of the 11th month, a ceasefire came into effect. At the Paris Peace Conference in January 1919, 36 nations came together to work out a settlement. The four main parties were Britain, France, Italy and the USA. USA would draw Wilson, president of the USA, wanted the treaty to be based on his 14 points, which could bring peace to Europe. This included the making of the League of Nations to prevent further war. France, George Clemenceau, wanted revenge on Germany and to ensure that it could never start a war again. Britain's Lloyd George agreed with the 14 points, but the British who had lost so much in the war wanted to make Germany and others pay for the damage. Would Roe Wilson's 14 points. 1. Reliance on open diplomacy rather than secret agreements. 2. Freedom of the seas. 3. Free trade. 4. Reduce the military forces and or weapons. 5. Readjust the colonies fairly. Readjust the colonies fairly. Six, the allowance for Russia to self determine its own government. Seven, respect for Belgium's integrity. Eight, restoration of French territory. Nine, Italy receives territory based upon ethnicity. Ten, Austria Hungary receives a fair. Low development opportunities. 11. Independence for the Balkan states. 12. Self determination for the peoples of the Ottoman Empire and free passage through the Dardanelles. 13. Independence for Poland. 14. The formation of a League of Nations to guarantee independence for all countries, large and small. However, Wilson's 14 points were not completely accepted by the European powers as their views differed from his. The Europeans wanted their empires and colonies to continue, but they approved of the American proposal for the League of Nations. The Ottoman Empire, which comprised Turkey and the Middle East, was placed under mandates and made to sign separate treaties in 1920 and 1923. Ultimately, the empire broke up in 1922. The Treaty of Versailles 1919 Germany was made to sign the Treaty of Versailles in June 1919. The Germany delegation met the Allied representatives and Germany agreed to evacuate 
Evacuate means remove someone from a place of danger to a safer place. All territories it had taken during the war to surrender all arms, ships and other war material and to allow the allies to occupy German territory along the river Rhine. The main terms of the Treaty of Versailles War 1. War Guild Clause Germany should accept the blame for starting World War 1. 2. Reparations Germany must pay 6,600 million pounds for the damage caused by the war. 3. Disarmament Germany was allowed to have an army of 100,006 naval uh, naval ships but th tanks and air force and submarines were not allowed the rhineland area was to be demilitarized demilitarized means of an area having had military forces removed for territorial clauses land was taken away from germany including its colonies and given to other countries union with austria was forbidden the clauses of the treaty were degrading for germany here degrading means causing a loss of self-respect as it was unfairly made to accept responsibility for the war and was penalized for the damage Penalized, subject to punishment. This made Germany actually conscious of rebuilding its image after the war. The Treaty of Seros, 1920. The Ottomans who had sided with Germany and Italy and also faced defeat in Syria and Palestine were made to sign the Treaty of Seros. According to this treaty, Egypt, Lebanon, Mesopotamia, Syria and Transjordan were taken away from Turkey. The Ottoman Empire was broken up and most of the Arab states under Ottoman rule were encouraged to become independent. Like Germany, Turkey was also asked to pay for war damages. The third party, Italy, managed to defeat Austria-Hungary, but it had to sign the peace agreement with Germany and Turkey. However, it was resentful about its role in the peace agreement being ignored. Resentful here means feeling or expressing bitterness. The USA was now uh, was not a signatory to the Treaty of Versailles. In 1921, it signed separate treaties with Germany, Austria, and Hungary. The USA also did not join the League of Nations. President Wilson was awarded the Nobel Peace Prize in 1919 for his peacemaking efforts. Changes after World War I. A number of changes took place after World War I ended. The map of Europe and the Middle East changed considerably. The Ottoman Empire was carved up among the European powers. Turkey emerged as an independent nationalist, nationalistic state in 1924. Germany lost all her colonies. Austria and Hungary were reduced to less than a third of their size. Czechoslovakia Poland and Yugoslavia were recognized as independent states. Monarchies in Russia, Austria, Hungary and Germany came to an end. The Bolshevik Revolution in Russia introduced communism as a political philosophy. British India and World War I at the outbreak of the war, the British feared that the Indians might use the situation to pressurize them for self-rule. However, both the Congress and the Muslim League extended their support and assurance that self-government would not be pursued till Britain war was at war. Indians wholeheartedly supported Britain in the war effort. 
recruitment to the Indian Armed Forces increased and troops money wheat uniform leather goods and pig iron were shipped out to Britain many soldiers volunteered for duty in Europe and Indian regiments fought on the Western Front and in Africa and Gallipoli money was also volunteered by the princely states for servicing the war efforts however when the ottoman empire sided with germany during the war indian muslims were alarmed the ottoman sultan was the khalifa or spiritual leader of the muslims and the khilafat had to be safeguarded by them as britain was fighting turkey in the war many indian soldiers refused to fight the muslim turks some deserted rather than fight and others were executed for not obeying orders to keep the indian muslims on their side the british indian government promised to respect the religious sites of islam in ottoman lands and to make sure that fair treatment was given to turkey and the khalifa after the war was over the war ended but turkey was not protected as promised the treaty of Sirs was severe and Ottoman territories in the Middle East were taken over as mandates by Britain and France. Mustafa Kemal Pasha led a nationalist revolution in Turkey whereby the institution of the Khilafat was abolished and Turkey became a republic in 1924. The Ottoman ruler and Khalifa Abdul Majid II was deposed and exiled with his family to France in March 1924. The rise of communism. Communism as a social and economic system came into prominence after World War I. The word communism denotes a social system in which property is owned by the state rather than individuals and all must contribute by either effort. It is a reaction to a society where there is a great divide between the rich and the poor. The movement took root in Russia ruled by the Tsars, a powerful monarchy in power since the 17th century and by rich landlords. Conditions in early 20th century Russia were harsh for the poor and the situation was made worse by World War I. The ideas of Karl Marx and Frederick Engels became popular. Marx wrote the Communist Manifesto and the movement spread, leading to the revolution which overthrew the Tsar in March 1917. Karl Marx is called the father of communism. A Republican government was put in place in Russia and it continued the war against Germany. Students in Republican system of government power is held by the people on the representatives that they elect. But the Bolshevik party wanted to make peace with Germany so that they could bring in communist rule in Russia. Vladimir Lenin 1870 to 1924 became the Bolshevik party leader who in a second revolution in October 1917 overthrew a republican government and made Russia into a communist country called the Union of Soviet Socialist Republics USSR communism now spread to other countries in Eastern Europe and also to China the USSR had effectively gained influence in Eastern Europe as most countries became communists formerly part of the Soviet Union Armenia Azerbaijan Belarus Estonia Georgia Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, Kyrgyzstan, Latvia, Lithuania, Moldova, Russia, Tajikistan, Turkmenistan, Ukraine, and Uzbekistan. Other Asian countries Afghanistan, Cambodia, Mongolia, and Yemen. 
Soviet controlled Eastern Bloc countries, Bulgaria, Czech, uh, Czech Republic, Germany East, Hungary, Poland, Romania, and Slovakia. The Balkans, Albania, Bosnia, and Herzegovina, Bulgaria, Bulgaria, Croatia, Republic of Macedonia, Montenegro, Serbia, and Slovenia. Africa, Anglo, Benin, Democratic Republic of Congo, Ethiopia, Somalia, Eritrea, and Mozambique. Current communist countries, Russia, China, Laos, North Korea, and Vietnam. Now come to the questions. Question 1. Which two sides fought in World War I? Answer. The two main opposing groups were formed. The UK, France, and Russia came together in a group called the Allies and were later joined by USA and Japan. The other group, the Central Powers, comprised Austria, Hungary, Germany, and Italy, and the Ottoman Empire and Bulgaria joined the later. Italy backed out of World War I and joined the Allies. Question 2. Explain the four main causes of World War I. Answer. The war started mainly because of four aspects. Nationalism, militarism, alliances, imperialism. And this is because big armies become potential threats to other countries. Other countries started forcing alliances in order to secure land the spirit of nationalism meaning pride in one's nationhood and the need to defeat defend it had taken over the nation states in europe nationalism also led to the making of two new states reunification of italy in 1861 and germany in 1871 with each uniting smaller states into one whole Militarism could have caused the war due to the naval and arm race. The main event of militarism causing World War I was the naval rivalry, rivalry which was made after 1900. Alliances showed a great dent in World War I. In 1914, the six most powerful countries in Europe divided into two opposing alliances, sides or teams. The triple alliance consisted of Germany, Austria, Hungary and Italy which was formed in 1882. The triple entente included Britain, France and Russia which was formed in 1907. Each country was heavily armed and each one had reasons for this trusting each other's countries in Europe. One of the most significant causes of World War I was imperialism, which is where a system where powerful nation rules and exploits one or more colonies. Question 3. Make a list of the areas where the fighting took place to show why it is called a world war. Answer. The war started on 28 July 1914, each side expected a quick victory but it dragged over four years. For the first time, aerial bombing of cities took place and poisonous gases, tanks, submarines and trench warfare were also used to kill civilians and soldiers. As a result, the casualties numbered over 37 million people, both military and civilian with more than 16 million dead and 20 million wounded, besides almost 8 million prisoners of war. During the conflict, Germany, Austria-Hungary, Bulgaria and the Ottoman Empire, the Central Powers fought against Great Britain, France, Russia, Italy, Romania, Canada, Japan and the United States. There was enormous destruction and the economies 
of the countries involved suffered huge losses. This unprecedented level of damage and destruction called World War One. Question 4. Which side won the war and why? Answer. When USA joined the war to help Britain and France fight Germany and its allies, well over 2 million American troops fought along with the allies in Europe. By September 1918, the last offensive by the allies made Germany realize its defeat as it could not match the superior numbers of the allied troops. New American weapons and technologies were used that enabled new ways of fighting which caused destruction on a scale that had never been seen before. Question 5. What were the consequences of World War I for Europe? Answer. The war changed the economical balance of the world, leaving European countries deep in debt and making the U.S. the leading industrial power and creditor in the world. Inflation shoot up in most countries and the German economy was highly affected by having to pay for Reparations, reparations. World War I largely marked the end of colonialism as the people became more nationalists, nationalistic and one country after the other started colonial revolts in Southeast Asia, the Middle East and Africa. The harsh conditions of the Treaty of Versailles caused a lot of dissent in Europe, especially on the side of the central powers who had to pay a lot of financial reparations. Question 6. Explain the changes that took place after World War I. Answer. A number of changes took place after World War I ended. The map of Europe and the Middle East changed considerably. The Ottoman Empire was carved up among the European powers. Turkey emerged as an independent nationalistic state in 1924. Germany lost all uh, her colonies. Austria and Hungary were reduced to less than a third of their size. Czechoslovakia, Poland and Yugoslavia were recognized as independent states. Monarchies in Russia, Austria, Hungary and Germany came to an end. The, the Bolshevik revolution in Russia introduced communism as a political power. Question 7. How did the Indians react to World War I? Answer. At the outbreak of the war, the British feared that the Indians might use the situation to pressurize them for self-rule. However, both the Congress and the Muslim League extended their support and assurance that self-government would not be pursued till Britain was at war. Indians wholeheartedly supported Britain in the war effort. Question 8. Explain the connection between the Khilafat movement in India and World War I. Answer. When the Ottoman Empire sided with Germany during the war, Indian Muslims were alarmed. The Ottoman Sultan was the Khalifa or spiritual leader of the Muslims and the Khilafat had to be safeguarded by them. As Britain was fighting Turkey in the war, many Indian soldiers refused to fight the Muslim Turks, some deserted rather than fight and others were executed for not obeying orders. Question 9. Identify the promises that were not kept by Britain after the war was over. Answer. To keep the Indian Muslims on their side, the British Indian government promised to respect the religious sites of Islam in Ottoman lands and to make sure that fair treatment was given to Turkey and the Khil Khalifa after the war was over. The war ended, but Turkey was not protected as promised. The Treaty of Sawa was sphere and Ottoman territories in the Middle East were taken over as mandates by Britain and France. 
Thanks for listening. For new videos, don't forget to subscribe my channel. And if you like my videos, please share and like.